Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We get a lot of questions in from people asking about the Fuji, the Fuji system, the Fuji X system, the Fuji Center. Uh, I have, as you know, big fan of the X-T20 sitting right here with the Fuji 50mm on it. Um, so we get a lot of people asking, you know, should I go with Fuji? Should I get out of my full frame heavy system? Should I buy the Fuji instead of a crop sensor body from Nikon or from Canon? And uh, we have an interesting, some interesting feedback here from a user, a viewer writing in. This is uh, Juan 1.8. So that's their YouTube username. Writes in and says, so I ended up with an X-T10. So the Fuji X-T10. That's the predecessor to the X-T20. Still a nice little camera, uh, but the earlier X sensor. So 16 megapixels and no 4K. Those are the two big advantages. Uh, also, I should say a much refined autofocus system, a much better one in the X-T20. So three big advantages of the 20. But uh, Juan's writing in. So I ended up with an X-T10, and I've been told years ago the same sensor but smaller max megapixels will result in bigger pixels, leaving the X-T20 behind in low light. I love my X-T10, and it definitely makes my D7200, uh, leaves my D7200 behind in noise production. In eight years of shooting, I've only hit beyond 1600 ISO a couple times. In the past few days with my X-T10, I go there and slightly bond with a smile. So basically a little mini review here, shooting with an X-T10. Uh, and very a very happy shooter, saying how his X-T10, uh, from his experience, beats his D7200 for noise. And uh, it's allowing him to push the boundaries. It used to be only he would cap his shooting at 1600 ISO. Now with his X-T10, it's going higher. I'm not sure I agree with the smaller, um, I mean, all else being equal, lower megapixels is going to yield a cleaner high ISO sensor. But see, all else isn't equal because the X-T10 is an older camera, older technology. The 20s newer, newer innards, newer technology, newer computer guts in there. Um, and it's delivering. I haven't seen any lack of high ISO ability in the 20 over the 10. In my opinion, the 20 is just as good as the 10. I'm not going to say it's better. I guess I haven't really pixel peeped it to that level to say that it's even better. But it's, I would say it's at least on par with what the 10 delivered. And you're getting 8 more megapixels of goodness plus 4K for video for those that are interested. And plus much better autofocus system. So for me, the X-T20 is a hit. Now, that's not to say that if you can get an X-T10 at a really good price, that I wouldn't recommend doing it. It's a great stepping stone into the Fuji system if you're able to get one used or refurb or something at a very good price. For me, though, the sweet spot right now is the X-T20. Love this camera. And if I was recommending someone, uh, was asking me about getting into the Fuji system today, my recommendation would be for almost everybody to get the X-T20. It's most of the goodness of the X-T2 at a fraction of the price. And I would get the kit lens, the 18 to 55. And that's almost doing it a disservice calling it a kit lens because it's one of the most beautiful kit lenses. It's probably the best kit lens ever made as far as construction build quality. It's a 2.8 to 4. So it's quite a fast lens. Uh, I would get it along with this 50 F2. That would be my starter kit to get into a Fuji system. The X-T20, that 50 F2, and the 18 to 55 kit lens. That's a 2.84. Beautiful Fuji series lens, metal body, great lens. As I said, probably the best kit lens ever made. So that's what I would do. Um, and I just wanted to share with you Juan's really uh, interesting feedback, his mini user review on his X-T10. And uh, I'm going to throw it back out to you guys. Who's still shooting an X-T10? Who still is happy with their X-T10? Has anybody actually shot the X-T10 against the X-T20? Same stuff side by side and then pixel peeped? Uh, does Juan have a point here? Do you think that if you've done that, that the ISO is cleaner in the X-T20? I'm, I'm open to be corrected. I, I don't think it is. But hey, if you've done that direct comparison, let us know in the comments below. What's your what's your thoughts on the X-T10? Or are you an X-T20 shooter and you're loving it or not? Let us know in the comments below. Let's hear about it. I'd, I'd be really surprised to hear an X-T20 shooter that's not loving it just because it's not nothing that you can't – Not there's nothing not likable about this X-T20. I, I really like this camera. Anyways, I'll throw it back to you guys. Looking forward to hearing your feedback in the comments below. As always, um, thanks for your question or your feedback here, Yuan. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.